University of Nairobi will not reopen in September. The university's vice chancellor, Professor Kiyama Gitai, says the learning will continue online. Now, key academic calendar activities like the admission of first years and this year's graduation will also be conducted online as the university battles the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Makori Angechi with more. The anticipated September reopening of tertiary institutions as announced by Education CS Professor George Magoha will not apply for the University of Nairobi. To them in a class, isn't it? The University Vice Chancellor Professor Kiyama Gitahi has ruled out any form of on-campus learning this year, saying the Senate has reached the decision to help fight the spread of coronavirus. The University of Nairobi, as you recognize, is in the epicenter of the COVID-19 and therefore we are responsible people to observe the situation how it is unfolding and only allow on-campus learning when we have been advised by the experts that it is safe to do so. We are open only bringing students on campus. That is why we have said no, 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 no. This implying that the admission of first years will be done online and the students joining university for the very first time will not be required to report to the university physically and that those admitted to respective courses will register and begin their classes online as they await the COVID-19 curve to flatten. This year's graduation at the university will also be conducted online. The graduation, which is scheduled for 25th of September, will also be done online. So that's where we are. With the COVID-19 cases in the country rising each day, Professor Kiyama says allowing the 10,000 students hosted at the university's main campus to study from school will be digging their graves. At least four members of staff at the university have passed away due to COVID-19 related issues, with several others in isolation after turning positive. This is despite the university premises remaining closed for students and majority of the staff. On Saturday morning, we had about 21 positive cases. They are going up. They are increasing. The good thing is that they are not here in the campus. Also, we have lost others who have died. It is a fact. We accommodate only about uh, 10,000 students. University of Nairobi is over 65,000 students. So these other students live in all parts of Nairobi. So you cannot say that because you have sanitizer in the room, you have this. They are living with others in Rogai, in Buruburu, in Dodora, in Jamu, wherever it is they live. Colleges and universities in the country were directed to improve their facilities and reopen in September. And the vice chancellor maintains online learning will continue as long as the COVID-19 cases continue to go up in the country and only learners will be allowed in the premises of the university maybe from early next year. Makori Citizen TV at the University of Nairobi.